Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, I hope you all are doing fine. So I have got first important question answers for board exams and um, this is all for English students and next video will be for Hindi student, students. So um, chapter 3 public nutrition and health. Let's start with one markers question. Okay, the first question is dash refers to collective action taken by the society to protect and promote health of the whole population. Guess, guess what can be the answer? Okay, so the answer is public health. If it was, it was easy to answer, then very good. And if you are not able to answer, then you should go watch, go and watch the video two of chapter three again. It will actually help you to answer all the questions and clear your concepts. So let's go to second question, which says LBW babies. LBW babies means low birth weight you must be I have told you LBW says low birth weight babies which means they weigh less than 2.5 kg or 2500 gram okay so the next question is PEM is caused due to the insufficient intake of nutrients so first of all you should know what is PEM. PEM is protein energy malnutrition. You should know the full form of PEM. And then why it is caused? Due to the less what? Protein. Sorry the spelling is wrong. Protein spelling is P-R-O-T-E-I-N. Protein and energy. So here we have two answers because of which the deficiency is caused known as PEM right the full form of PEM so you know you can say yourself now marasmus is caused due to the which deficiency of nutrient guess guess I told you the trick ME E for energy and then Koshi Oracle is called is uh, you know caused due to the protein so I hope all answers are going correct now let's go move to fourth fourth says PEM can be assessed by evaluating the dash measurements that is anthropometric measurements answer is anthropometric measurements if you can recall height weight head chest circumference skin fold thickness so this is the way you can measure your PEM let's move to now fifth a person is said to be dash when body weight body weight when weight is less than adequate for his age when weight is actually less than age then the person is said to be underweight is said to be underweight so i hope you haven't forgotten that trick weight for age when weight is less under weight next is a child is said to be stunted when his or her dash is less than adequate for age stunted means less height so what will be less obviously height okay then let's come move to seventh seventh is weight is not adequate relative to height when weight is not adequate relative to height height means it is less then the person is said to be what it is wasting 
W4 weight and W4 wasting. Next, India is set to face the dual burden of dual burden of two nutrition that is known as malnutrition. Malnutrition. And if we talk to malnutrition, then it is underweight and overweight. So I hope you all have understood when the question it can come as a long question also. You know, you have to explain the whole answer why, how. Next question is the term hidden hunger is used to refer to dash deficiency. When we say hidden hunger, the hunger which is hidden, that is known as micronutrient deficiency. When micronutrient deficiency we have, then it is said to be hidden hunger. Okay, hidden hunger. So, I hope no problem is there now. Micro nutrient. Let's move to next. That is tenth question. Name any four minerals which are of major health, major public health concern. So we have studied about the vitamin, vitamins and minerals, where we were studying what mineral problems are we facing or what vitamins issues we are facing. So here we are talking about the minerals. So in minerals we have four. First is calcium. Second is iodine. Third is iron. And fourth is zinc. Okay, so these are all minerals. Fine. Now, next question. Give examples of any four vitamins which are of major public health concern. Now, it is talking about vitamins. So, in vitamins, we have vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B12, and folic acid. Folic acid. So guys, I hope you have understood about it. Folic acid. So this is all for vitamins and minerals which are of pub major public health concern. Now let's move to question 12 which says who are vulnerable groups for IDA? First of all, we should know what is the full form of IDA. Iron, iron deficiency, anemia. So here we have pregnant women, right? Pregnant ladies, you can say, or women. Pregnant women who are, you know, carrying babies and they are of very low age. They are not fit for age to get pregnant. And then we have adolescents, right? Adolescent girls. Alright, so these are the age which is getting affected by iron deficiency anemia then we have 13 question IDA occurs when there is low level of dash in blood when anemia occurs then we have low hemoglobin level in the blood so answer is hemoglobin guys HEAE and HE is both correct and he means iron Next question is 14, which says, full form of VAT. VAT, V for vitamin, A for vitamin A. You have to write full vitamin A deficiency. All right. So vitamin A deficiency. Then we have, next question is 15th which says idea lowers the dash 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 in children iron deficiency anemia what actually it does in children it does three things in children which are first is it decreases the memory second it decreases the concentration And then third if we talk about is 
attention span means that person cannot pay attention on anything for a longer period of time concentration means cannot pay attention how concentrated he is for whatever he or she is doing less memory whatever he learns he will forget very fast so these are the three problems when iron when the person is suffering when the child child is suffering from iron deficiency anemia disease next is 16 16 says dust deficiency can lead to childhood blindness i told you vitamin a is always related to blindness eyes 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 means blindness ah so a uh sound vitamin a okay now let's move to 17th question 17th question says dash is required for normal physical growth mental growth and development so what we require so that normal physical growth mental growth and development can happen so the answer is iodine iodine is required for all of these things 18th question deficiency of dash results in insufficient amount of thy thyroid hormone synthesized by the thyroid gland so what you know is deficient which causes less secretion of thyroid hormone which is synthesized by the thyroid gland so this is a very important question so answer is iodine guys i have just given one fill up even this can be asked this can be in fill ups all right so next question is 19th dash is caused due to the iodine deficiency so answer is goiter Go swollen neck you must have seen if the person has this is neck and this is here swollen neck this is goiter now let's come to full forms now full forms are icds in this icd uh, you have to give all the full forms and you should know because it can come as one marker question as in previous board exams several questions been asked for full forms also so you should be very thorough about you know the full forms of um, uh, these um what do you say these which are given in the question so the answer is for the icds integrated child development scheme and you should know about these full forms a little bit if it comes to two marks you are able to write the full form and about the objectives of the uh, full forms then pds public distribution system public distribution system midday meal mdm is midday meal narega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act then we have aay which says antodaya anna yojana antodaya anna yojana so um let's repeat icds integrated child development scheme pds public distribution scheme midday meal mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act antodaya anna yojana so this full form should be very thoroughly done next question is name the nutritional program is for the following deficiencies now you should know you should know about these program is very well and you should know the full forms also or if the program is come then it can be asked for which these are meant mainly question doesn't come for which these are meant because answer is given in the full forms right so let's start for the vitamin a vitamin a is national prophylaxis program to prevent blindness due to the deficiency of vitamin a i repeat national prophylaxis program to prevent blindness due to the deficiency of vitamin a next is iodine iodine is n i n i d d c p national iodine deficiency disorder control program first of all this is a disorder not disease okay so don't mistaken by with this third is third is iron so here it should come as iron so i'm going to write here this is guys iron not iod so for iron it is national anemia control program okay 
so national anemia control program so you should be very thorough f from this all right i hope you'll manage by this mistake this is iron all right then we have tick the correct answer the average birth weight of low birth weight babies is dash kg or it can come in grams also then your answer will be if it is in two point it is kg it will be 2.5 it is in gram it will be 2500 gram all right let's move to next question second people who are at more risk due to protein energy malnutrition are a adolescent and adults b children and elderly c females d infants we know that children are at greater risk for PEM deficiency and elderly people. So the answer is B, children and elderly. Move to the third question, the immediate causes of PEM at individual level. So what are the causes for PEM? Whether it is poor sanitation, B, inadequate or faulty dietary intake, C, disease or D, lack of physical activity. So guys, you must be knowing PEM is protein energy malnutrition. So malnutrition which is caused due to the deficiency of nutrients that is dietary intake. So here we have given two options. So obviously first is dietary intake and second will be disease. Why? Because if the person is diseased, obviously protein energy will be absorbed less. Hence that person will have PEM. So it is B and C. So the answer is B and C. I hope you are able to understand and relate to the concept. Now answer the following questions accordingly. Now you can see the questions here. These are very important questions. These are... Uh, you know, I have given in between the book and from the NCRT book. These are all mixed questions. Try to answer these questions. Once you have watched chapter 3 video and write it in lengthy, write it in, you know, very uh, nice way. It should have definition, explanation and examples too. If it is given short form, you have to write full form and then you have to write start your answers. So these are all questions here. 